What's up guys, it's Nick here, and as you can tell by the title of this video, there are some new Shangri-La finds. Now, you guys may recall the other day, uh, there were some tweets from the Zombies developers uh, referring to Shangri-La Mountains. And so then all of the devs started going in on this, mentioning these mountains and about how there's something there, it's, it's Zombies' best kept secret, and... Uh, you know, all kinds of different stuff. They all started chiming in. And then, namely, they started mentioning um, ranges, some type of mountain range. So that not only brings it to a mountain, but a mountain range. So me, uh, a great guy by the name of Talixian, one of the original World at War uh, story finders, crazy guy, another veteran in the community, uh, we went on to the game and we started uh, looking around Shangri-La, looking at the mountains, those type of things. And uh, we found something pretty interesting uh, in one of the mountain ranges out in the distance. So I'm going to switch over to the, uh, the game here and show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so we're back here uh, on the game. This is me. I went back into single player to take a second look at this stuff after we, uh, me and Tilixine and Crazy, had gone in and discussed all of this. Now, we come to this area, which is on the bridge by the waterfall, and the interesting thing about this area is this area has a mountain range. Uh, it's the waterfall goes down into a little valley there. And on the left here, you have this lush green uh, hilltop area, but on the right, you can see these jagged rocks. So the left is a smooth jungle hill almost, you know, a jungle mountain, uh, how it would look. You've got trees down here in the bottom. Uh, it's green. It's It looks like it should belong. It's got trees and stuff. It, it looks like it should belong here. But on the right here, we've got a red mountain almost. It's red. It's got jagged rocks along it. And you can see here these these horizontal lines going across it. This almost makes me think of like a canyon wall or like a valley because what happens is as that that gets worn down, think of the Grand Canyon. The river wears it away. These are different levels of sediment on it. Uh, here, this thing kind of looks like a face. Like a, you can see two eyes and a frown, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty interesting. But you've got this red rock type thing, and let me show you uh, more exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, so here you can see what I was talking about with uh, the type of rock that the right mountain is. This is uh, like a canyon type area here. You can see the jagged tops. It's not smooth like the left hill, and it, it's got this red dirt, red rock. It's not something that you see in the jungle normally. And uh, so this is some type of valley or something that I think we're in here. And you can see the horizontal lines once again. You don't really see that anywhere else. This is from the erosion that happens. This is different layers of sediment. So, I mean, this is very similar to the Wright Mountain. Uh, so this, this places the Wright Mountain as some type of desert or rock or something along those lines. It's very similar to this. All right, now here's the next image. Hopefully you guys all re uh, recognize this. This is the Shangri-La loading screen image with the tornado and the lightning coming down into the Black Sun emblem, which is engraved into the ground in that shrubbery. Now, one thing of interest is I kind of always look past this before, but look where we are in terms of the whole atmosphere. Uh, you have the tornado touching down in the center of the Black Sun emblem, which is made out of shrubs and greenery and ferns but to behind that you have this big huge deep valley uh big long walls sharp edges that that's nothing like the green mountains that we see in uh around shangri-la and now a lot of you guys may think oh oh well maybe that mountain was just there on accident that's not possible. The skybox is created by hand. That's intentional. It's intentionally there. And then when you come back to the menu here, look at this. There is the mountain right there. That back end, uh, it's almost like a giant valley or canyon that we're in that the tornado is ending up in. And, well, these things should not be growing here normally. These ferns and stuff, this shouldn't grow here normally. What does that lead me to believe? Shangri-La was moved to another location. And I'm going to say that location here in a minute. Um, but that's it right there, that rear wall. Once I saw the loading screen image again, that struck me right there. I said, that is why that red rock type, jagged rock mountain is back there. And, and that's why it's there, you know? And, and then also on top of that, you've got five orbs floating around with the tornado. So that is a hint towards the Easter egg again, where you have to get these five spheres up out of the ground and raise them up so you can direct direct the shrink ray powers through it to shrink the meteor and then ultimately uh, make the Vril device with that. But this, to me, just screams, this is it. This is much bigger than we thought it was.
And a lot of people may be questioning why I think this mountain is the big Easter egg that they were talking about. Well, it's not necessarily not explicitly mentioned as an Easter egg. They're just referring to the mountains, saying the mountains have some type of a greater meaning than we thought. And even then, if you're thinking it's some type of physical thing where you have to shoot something and something pops out or something along those lines, it most likely would have been found already because when we get to the PC, people can no clip around and they can look at the script. You know, someone from a site that I frequent, Call of Duty's zombies.com has been in there and he's looked at all the triggers all the hidden quotes all the hidden sayings everything if there was something hidden out in that mountain that we were supposed to shoot it would have been found by now and so this is why i think that that mountain that shouldn't be there that means something greater and it's hinting us to real, where the real location of shangri-la is it's not in a jungle it's somewhere else so where do we think the map is mars think about it where else do we see this uh, iconic red rock on Mars, and this is a picture taken by an orbiter uh, that passed by Mars. This is known as the Malus Chasma, which is the deepest valley in the solar system. Uh, it's about 22,500 miles long, and it's about 5.5 miles deep, so where else is the best place to hide this facility? And another point that Crazy Guy had was at the bottom of Shangri-La down in the basement area type, I guess you can refer to that, down on the level where the power room is. They seem to be mining element 115, but element 115, it doesn't occur naturally uh, on the planet. It all comes from interplanetary uh, sources. So why are they mining element 115 if Shangri-La is supposed to be on Earth? Now, you may be wondering, why is Shangri-La on Mars? Why would it be taken there? Why would that be the place chosen? Well, if you recall the Vril device, which is what they use to power uh, all of this time travel and stuff, it's a combination of the golden rod, and then uh, he uses the meteor from Shangri-La, he uses the meteor to power this golden rod and give it more amplitude. Um, highly concentrated 115. Uh, but the thing is, if you're on Mars, the Vril have already been there. If you know who the Vril, Vril ya are, they are an ancient civilization referred to by means of the Vril device. They are suspected to have inhabited Shangri-La, and they're expected to be the people uh, that are on Shangri-La, the zombies. They don't seem human. They're not human zombies. They're a completely different type, and that's because they're a different race. Uh, the Nazis believe the Vril Yod could be used to help populate the Aryan race. Uh, so the Nazis were very interested in the Vril Yod at the same time. But the Vril Yod have also been to the moon and to Mars. In, in Nazi uh, legend and myth, of course, the Vril Yod have inhabited Mars. So, you take... Shangri-La, which is a Vril Yah civilization, you put it on Mars because there's concentrations of element 115 there, and then you farm it, you crop it. And people may ask, well, how do you breathe uh, the water? And those are questionable things that could be potential holes, but Mars is just a theory. It's not proven at all. Mars is a theory, uh, to me, makes the most sense because the way that the, the rock matches, the way that it that it looks. Uh, and then not to mention, when you're doing the actual side quest, the Easter egg, Brock, who is one of the British explorers, mentioned that the structure of the area does not look like he had thought it to be. The, the way that it, it acts, the way that it feels, it's not as he thought it to be. And that's possibly because, well, he's not on Earth anymore. This is almost like a a paradise, a oasis, if you will. It's it's in the middle of dryness, in the middle of nothing, but you've got this, this enormous growth, supplies of water, these type of things. And you may ask the eclipse and those types of things, and yes, those are questions uh, that still yet need to be answered. Answered. But Mars is a possibility here, and, and we need to look into the, the option of this being some type of oasis in Mars to gather 115 uh, and, of course, travel back and forth. And we know that Maxis has been here before. Uh, it's mentioned that, you know, Richtofen knows that Maxis helped design the baby maker, the JGB315. So all these possibilities are open, but this one mountain sticks out like a sore thumb. It, it definitely hints to something. Uh, and I think this is what they're referring to because this is crucial story stuff that could definitely play uh, into Black Ops 2. And so the final thing I want to show you guys here is the fact that this whole jungle seems to just stop uh, almost in a circle shape, just like the loading screen image shows. It's in the black sun thing. Uh, you can see the river meanders down through, and then you can't really see it that well in the video, possibly. But at the end, the water just stops. Now, I'm not sure if that's just an effect of the skybox, but, uh, 
you know, that's another fact to say, well, maybe it's this isolated area. The water, the river is just dropping off, and there's the mountain. That mountain is, it means something. Does it mean we're on Mars? Possibly not. It's a theory right now, so things are bound to change, but hopefully this makes some sense to you guys, and uh, thanks. All right, I really do hope you guys enjoyed that little theory video. I got a couple people I want to thank here. I want to thank Talixian uh, and CrazyGuy92 for helping out. Uh, we all went in there. We all did this together. This is all of our ideas. And also Tack Insertion from the CODS forums who also uh, formulated a lot of this stuff. He found a lot of this stuff, so I want to thank these people. Uh, very great to be able to do this with them. It's awesome. We all can't wait for Black Ops 2. Uh, and if you liked it, which hopefully you guys did, uh, you may want to check out another theory video by my friend Mr. Raffle Waffles. He does a great video on a possible Black Ops 2 map by the name of the Parisian Catacombs. And if you liked it, maybe considering, uh, you know, leaving a like and a favorite, show it to your buddies so, you know, we can all talk about it. But I definitely want to talk to you guys in the comments below and uh, enjoy the little porno music I attached in the background here. I'll see you guys next time.